Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of my river guide for Switzerland. Today we are taking a look at the standard section of the metal run between Tarde and Coralia. At the put in the cars are parked on the side of the road and then everything is carried down to the creek, which is by far the most arduous part of the endeavor. At the bridge one can see the run up to the triple combo. Starting cold with this I think is irresponsible. With enough water one can put in further up of course. The three falls can be portaged on the left side through the meadow. For this guide I combined material of two different drums with about 5 and 4 cubic meters per second. The water level can be decimated from the bridge or by looking at the online level of the Sambitschke Rhine as a reference. The first few shoots afford the possibility to practice your booth, which will be needed soon enough. For the most part the character of the creek is drop and pool, even though the pool is sometimes small or even flowing water. The difficulties are around 4 to 5 depending on the water level. Most of the time a gooseneck is sufficient to find the right path. The biggest unknown is unexpected wood blockades. The first few drops are not too complicated and one can also try them backwards given the strokes are done the right. The first thing is at the end of a somewhat open section when two boulders narrow to a gully combined with a 2 meter height difference. The water flows on the left rock which is slated so that this might end wet when not prepared. High above a pipe is crossing over and at the next corner the next crooks is waiting, where one has to take the right entry to avoid ending up under the rock wall. Medium sized, mostly round boulders form the character of this creek and often one can find a passage on the left side. The 
After a nice natural slalom and an S-curve cut in stone, there are a few meters in the open water over rubble that end in another drop. This fall on its own is not terribly difficult as the booth is perfected up to this point. Especially at low water the run up is the tricky part to avoid getting caught at one of the many rocks. After a short interlude the last crux is reached. Here as well it first goes over about 50 meter long rubble. I suggest to have a look at this from the land to find a good route. At our water level at least it was easily possible to collect oneself before the actual fall. The drop itself on the right side flows onto a slated ledge that makes this into a nice chute. Immediately at the next corner there is again a cataract to be taken right to avoid the undercut rock wall. The remainder of the section till the water drainage does not hold any particular difficulties, however concentration is still required. At the put out, after about only 3 km on the water, the water is collected and redirected into the reservoir of the Samvitschgerein. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye! All right. What's your quintessence of this wonderful Medelzerrhein? Well, Medelzerrhein is always worth it. Maybe not with way less water than we had today. <laughs> A little more would be better, but it's so fair and it's like drop and pull all the time. You could also climb out. It's so fair for this level. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Thanks for the great guidance.